Your content on social, you have a massive following and people, you know, would love to, to look like you. And I think just using the supplement just in daily, just not even really selling hard, just playing show and tell, get done with your workout, get your supplement, this is what I take. I think instantly just off your social media following, that would boost sales, number one. Start thinking about the challenge or what, you, what I can help you with, because you might be on the hot seat. Let's see who we got here. I'm going to dig into the hat and see who's first. Pick me. Bedros. Yo. What's going on, brother? How can we help you? Is there any challenge, any issue, anything going on that we can just pour into you and see how we can help you with, with anything? Yes. Yeah, 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 man. Uh, so while well, I'm best known for Fit Body Bootcamp, our franchise, and, and three years ago, I started uh, uh, the Modern Day Night Project, which is a self-development program for men. Both Fit Body Bootcamp and, and Modern Day Night Project, I know exactly who my avatar is, and we go after them, and we get them, and they're thriving. My supplement company, I, I, I don't know how to scale my supplement company beyond the, we're, we're doing about 12 million a year now, started that three years ago as well. And while that sounds impressive, it's not because when you have a franchise with 600 and some odd locations and you plug in a supplement, you're selling to your franchisees and their clients. Uh, which are gym, you know, they're gyms and they're gym uh, clients, but scaling it online has been this uh, pain in the ass for me and my team. And I don't know if it's because we don't know our avatar or it's because how's my product, my protein different than the other protein. Um, how do we get leads the most, best, most effective way? Do we need to create a viral video like through, like the Harmon brothers did for other supplement companies? Um, I, I, I don't even know where to start. So I, I'm scaling slowly and I'm not used to scaling slowly and it's frustrating me. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, so does anyone want to go first? Yeah. Hey, uh, Bedros, I think I'm going to need your help. So I'm going to try to help you here uh, <laughs> a little bit, you know, just to uh, brainstorm. Hey, first of all, uh, I just want to say it was really cool that like of all the people that Frank thought of, he thought of you and I. To, to ask for a little help, man. I, I really felt like, you know, I felt like that was really an honorable thing. I felt, you know, I, I don't know how you felt, but I just thought that was really cool to somebody I, I really look up to. And he was like, uh, hey, I'd like you guys to help because I think you're the guys for the job. Just felt good. So, I agree, man. I, I felt the same way, man. And I don't think there could be better company that we could be a part of. So, um, look, man, I bought a supplement company uh, off Colin Wayne uh, about five or six years ago. Two 2017 or 18. <clears throat> uh, I didn't even know Andy Frisella back then, or I definitely wouldn't have bought it, but uh, I didn't know shit. I just had this company that was doing uh, like $2 million a month. And, and I got the customers and all the social media and everything. But once I got my hands on it, I realized that this thing was mostly fucking ad driven in very small margins. So like it, it, it you know, the, if, if I wasn't selling ads and keep it safe, wasn't getting recurring. So I start like, okay, maybe I need to do something different in this business. And I start really researching the industry and it's watered down. You know, it, it, there is so many people in, in that industry that are big. I mean, I don't know if you saw, but just uh, yesterday, Brandon Poulin, who's been a friend of mine for about eight years now, uh, him and his wife, Kaylin, announced that they shut down Lady Boss. And Lady Boss was a supplement company that had 700,000 clients. They were big. They were the Inc. 5,000 number one company and wow. uh, did, did $200 million in the last eight years in supplement sales. But he said due to rising margins and, or rising prices, supply chain, all this other shit, he's like, man, it's just not not worth it. Uh, and they're selling off all their assets. So reason why I tell you those stories is because I think what works for people like, uh, and, and maybe I'm using the wrong examples, but like first form and beach body and shit that sell a ton of supplements and have for a long time is they're not really selling supplements. They're selling a community. And, and I know you do that really well with the, the, the fit body locations. You know, you feel you're part of a, a team, you feel you're a part of a group. So what I would be thinking of, and, and, and I'm sure together we can come up with an answer here, but what I, how can you make like taking your supplements be a part of that too? If you notice like some of the most beautiful people on Instagram, guys and 
uh, women uh, have first form t-shirts on and, and mm. shit sitting in the back. They're not even talking about first form. They just happen to be taking it and stuff like that. And I think the re- well, I know the reason why is that represents a community, right? A community of, of fit people, a community of influencers, a community of people that have done 75 hard. And so I, I would make it to where it's almost like a multi-level marketing, not in the sense of the pay scale, but in the, the, the people just drinking the Kool-Aid so much. Like if you ever met my friend, Jesse Lee, who uh, is with prove it, you know, they're selling a billion dollars in, in ketone shit. What the hell is a ketone? Most of the people don't even know what the hell it is that are taking it, but man, they love that lifestyle and community that comes along with taking it more than they actually like the effects of the drink. So I know you're good at stuff like that. That's, that's probably what I would think of to scale is a, a sense of like, how can people like it so much they can't shut up to their friends about it? You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah. I yeah. That. That's good stuff. That's Appreciate good. that, Ryan. That's, that, that's definitely a good insight. And I think I have some real reluctance to creating a community behind it because I don't really know who my customer is. Uh, but all I have to do is go back and see who our customers are, what they have in common, what their fear, frustrations, desires are, and then get more of them and, and start building a community of them. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, Pedro. Okay, so, oh, go ahead. So one last thing. I'm sorry, and then I'll. I'll That's I'll okay. Let you go home. Sorry. But like, so let's say that you survey your people, or you just know that people that uh, work out at, at Fit Body Boot Camp, the number one thing that they struggle with is muscle soreness, or the number one thing they struggle with is mental fatigue, or or energy, or whatever it is, and then you go build a supplement campaign around that. It's like, Hey, you finished your workout today. Good news is you're going to be sore as hell tomorrow, but not with our soreness protection, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So then you've got shit that you know that they need, that, that, that it's a recurring thing that they complain about that maybe you can solve through some, some of your supplements. Yeah. 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 I love that. I love that advice. And I, um, I, I do believe also focusing on the result of it rather than the supplement itself and this idea just popped up to my head as far as an avatar our business owners especially because my avatar is the business owner seven figures and up and they push themselves so hard and they're they're burning the candle at both ends uh their health has really taken a beating they don't take vacations uh they just are really in the weeds of their business and so I think selling, uh, rather than selling supplements, which obviously that's the vehicle, it's what's the result of it, how they're going to feel, and feeling like they're gonna have energy to start the day, end the day, have time with their kids, uh, feel more inspired to come up with the ideas for their company, so really tie it to the challenges they have in their business, if that's something that you're interested in. The other thing I thought about is, um, I used to be, uh, I'm, I still have my license, but a, a, a homeopathic physician. And I um, started a school, Homeopathic Academy of Southern California, that still runs today. And um, I, I had the practice for 20 years, and I ended up, um, anyway. Uh, but I, I know, like healers, they are constantly looking for other revenue streams. So if you were to target massage therapists, Pilates instructors, nutritionists, homeopaths, chiropractors, uh, things like that, and you know, whether you get a distributor, or you have someone on your team that's consistently doing that outreach. And then the other thing is writing a book. Writing a book is one of the best ways to market your business. It really opens so many doors. You, you may already have a book, but something specifically to this demographic and their pain. And oh, by the way, the supplement is, uh, is the answer and doing a bunch of case studies with that. And really then the book is the leader. So. I like that. I like that. It's funny as you're listing things off, as soon as you said the book, it hit me. It hit me like that. That could that could absolutely be it. And we have a particular product which kind of ties into what Ryan was saying. Um, our best product is called the Wellness Shot, and it's a it's a packet like the emergency packets, but it's got everything in there: turmeric, ginger, vitamin C, D, zinc, uh, cayenne, and black pepper. And what's really cool about it is nothing like it exists because it's expensive to make. Um, and if you know anything about um, actual spices. Um, 
a lot of spices that are poorly made will have heavy metals like mercury and lead in it. And so this wellness shot is not only good for as anti-inflammation, but great for the immune system. That's really what scaled during the pandemic because everybody wanted to actually take something orally versus get in the gym and work out and actually go outside and get sunlight. And so that took us from just kind of our first year of, you know, getting along to spiking to uh, a $12 million a year. And so as I got to thinking, a book on inflammation and immune system and just overall higher uh, performance mentally is going to be it, I I think, and will lead to, and one of the first people to do this way back in the day was the founder of EAS, Bill Phillips. You guys remember the supplement review guide. So Allison, sometimes it just takes someone else to remind you of what you know works. Yes. And what you've seen works. And so just taking both of your ideas there, I think I've, I just figured out a book based around inflammation, immune system, and mental cognitive performance, um, which is, that's all I drink in the mornings. Is yeah, I would like book. some. I think that sounds great. Yeah, I got a really <laughs> I'm, I'm going I'm to send some to all of you, to all three of you, and uh, would love to get your guys' feedback on it. But thank you. That, that really helped me a, a ton. Really appreciate it. Awesome. All right. So I have three things. Um, yeah. So number one, obviously you're in amazing shape actually one day i almost reached out to you and like man we need to get, i need to come down there and work out with you and see what Let's you got going on right down the street absolutely um so but i've never once seen you take a supplement so one of my things i always talk about or just use the product not even talk about it so but you're but you're constantly on social you have a massive following and people you know would love to, to look like you and i think just using the supplements is in daily just not even really selling hard, just playing show and tell, get done with your workout, get your supplements, this is what I take. I think instantly just off your social media following, that would boost sales, number one. Uh, Number two, um, so one of my buddies, um, he has a fitness studio. Um, We did his marketing early on. And one of the things that he did, I mean, he has a small, like 3,000 square feet um, um, studio and they do between 500,000 and a million just from a really small um, little studio. But one of the ways he was able to increase revenue was by adding an upsell package of the supplements along with the merch to every new member that came in. And also, after every class, they say what basically you were saying, Allison, in terms of you want to fit, you're working out hard, you got to replenish. And they're constantly selling not only supplements, but gear and everything. Every, it's like constantly in front of them. So they're selling a lot of merch. They're selling a lot of uh, supplements on top of the gym. So I think just building that in to the average to the to everybody's everyday use and the third thing i mean i mean i don't know how many fit body boot camps are there now i mean there's a lot of them right yeah yeah just over 600 got it so you have 600 business owners who own um their own fitness studio and how about them being able to even invest in owning their own uh supplement company so what if you were able to convert 600 of those individuals into actual supplement owners and be able to, I don't know, like license the supplement so they can now get a cut out of the people that they sell within it and they can add an additional revenue stream to their own business as well. So that would, that would be three things that I think you could do immediately that's brilliant. To, to start to, to um, you know, increase sales. Yeah. In fact, that's exactly how we let off. That's where we made our first few million right out the gate was introducing it to our franchise owners at, at their point of sale in locations because they already have a kind of a merch area and so they wholesale our truly supplements and then from there they can also have a drop ship to the client's house if the client wants to do auto renew where i was trying to really get bigger at is how do i go outside of our brand and go direct to consumer rather than going to supplement stores or having a whole bunch of influencers to manage um and and so i i really love the idea of two specific things doing a, some kind of a challenge like a truly lean challenge because that does create a sense of community like uh ryan said um which is really what 75 hard is it's it's such a great challenge to do and in fact all of my coaching clients i tell them to start with 75 hard uh because when they have a physical change their business changes and um so i need to create like a three-day cleanse with the truly wellness shot and really talk about that in the book and i think those two together are going to be a really good linchpin to start uh moving that needle awesome man and, and just kind of a side note i was thinking even if the book could just be an ebook for right now and with a lot of your social posts especially your workout posts you could just start with using that as a lead magnet 
um, to get people going and, and uh, kind of lead them down that path. Awesome. Do you have a follow-up question or anything? So by the way, I put everybody on a 20-minute clock. You still have some time. So um, any follow-up, anything else on top? Oh, of that nailed it. I love getting like one actionable thing and working on it, man. I'm not, a, I'm not a, hey, give me 20 things to put in the fire. I just want one thing to put in the fire and forge. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, appreciate let it, it. Be, please let us know, um, you know how that goes. I'd love to get feedback on that. I hope you enjoyed the show. We're having a lot of fun with the Battle Mastermind, and we're going to keep them coming for you. But you got to do me one favor, and that's just hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you on the internet. Later.